Here with NSU track coach, Mike Heimerman, coach Jasmine Stills, uh, going to the NCAA Indoor Championship. Uh, she jumps Friday evening out in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Coach, she went last year when not many people knew about her. She won an individual national title. Now she's going back. Just what um, what does that do for not only for Jasmine for this, but, but for this program to be, to be back on the national stage? Well, it's, it's a huge highlight for Jasmine. I mean, she has done a lot of hard work. That's one of the great things about track and field. It's an individual sport. Uh, so, you know, you can't point the finger about anybody but yourself. And uh, she had a phenomenal breakout year last year. And so uh, this year she's had a bullseye on her back and uh, you know she's going to go and defend her title and she's going to show everybody that last year wasn't a fluke. She won. She was a conference champion for the first time this year at the indoor meet last week. Uh, Jump 21-3, is that right? And, um, you know, what... How is she jumping now? I know that, you know, with all the range, nobody's really been able to practice the way that they want to because you have to, to dodge the rain. But how does she set up to, to compete this week? Well, one, she's in, you know, her and Coach Tyron Stewart have, have got a game plan. They've been working on it. And uh, they've been working on a few things on her technique, which, like you said, the rain has been pretty bad for us this year, just to our consistent training. That's why, you know, even Jasmine's had quite a few foot fouls. Uh, but you know that's the name of the game. But I think she'll have it all figured out. One, she's a she's a competitor, and she knows when to flip the switch on and compete. And uh, so I have no doubt that she's going to be fine Friday. Uh, and I, I expect a big jump out of her. But uh, you know she's she's probably her hardest critic, and she wants to to do a lot. And you know what's funny is that after Friday uh, or actually Sunday. That conference, I forgot our meeting was Sunday, Monday. <laughs> uh, you know, we had our first our team meeting after day one, and we I kind of teased her in the team meeting that she won her first conference title, but she's already won a national title. But you know, Jasmine's a very qualified young lady, uh, in athletically and academically, and she's she's going to go out there and she's going to do fine. She was so calm and collected. It's it, apparently from from her from in the first national competition. Um, now she has an indoor national appearance. Uh, an outdoor national silver medal. You know, when you come on this kind of stage for the third time, you got to figure that that she just she she'll know exactly what to expect and, and she'll be prepared. Well, she does know how to handle the pressure, and a lot of that's to her coach's credit. Coach Stewart has been on that national stage and then the the global stage as a professional jumper. That's one thing that uh, Coach Stewart's done a really really good job with uh, his jumpers, and even it's spreading over to some of the other athletes is keeping them calm, and you know. Nothing's going to really be ever, you're never going to be really successful in your event if you're going to go out there and you get frustrated and you get really aggravated and whatnot. So you got to keep a calm, level head. And that's usually when uh, big things happen. And, you know, that's she, Jasmine's living proof of that. <laughs> Coach Mike, thank you very much. Thank you.